What is going on everyone? Today I wanted to share with you stock news updates on Mulan Automotive, ticker M-U-L-N, in the electric vehicle space. Now, a lot of folks actually made good money with Mulan. However, those who actually bought in uh, throughout the year 2022 and 2023 have seen just with downward prices going with uh, Mulan Automotive, right? We know that in January, the company had a good upward trend, right? Getting up from like the consolidation support of 18 cents all the way up to about 42 cents. And since then, it's just been bleeding out now, gaining support at like the low 21 cents. Question is, are we going to see bullish signals here? What's going to happen? Will we continue to see it go down? Now, most of you are wondering what's driving Mullen prices going down. It really just comes down to the overall financials of Mullen. Mullen has not really generated any revenue as of the release of the Q4 financial data. However, we know that the company is taking on a lot of uh, debt with with liabilities burning on its cash flow right now and there's no actual positive return on cash flow with margins however that's expected since this company hasn't been a fully mature company at this time however there's good news that has been released recently right with with the expansion rollout in Ireland with its with electric vehicle cars with its partnership with aviation company to focus more on getting EV cargo trucks in the LAX airport in, in Southern California, in Los Angeles. So all of that's good news. Now the question is, what's the CEO up to, right? I mean, the CEO has sold off about 15 million shares a couple weeks ago, and we're questioning the CEO whether he's the right fit with, with, the, with leading and managing the organization here, right? Yes, Based on his experience, he does try to capitalize on patented technology and continuing to expand the, the overall business strategy. However, that's all talk. We need to start seeing actual deliverables, right? Uh, it's just wishful, hopeful thinking from how I see it when I uh, assess his, his, uh, his speeches. Now, what's going to really drive up the company's share price? I'm thinking that come with the reverse split we're going to see continuous bleed out which we don't want right and what's going to prevent a reverse split i'm thinking that mullen automotive may potentially be bought out by a company like ford general motors or volkswagen these these companies have the money they can stimulate mullen with with additional funds and it may just take away you know, additional startups like Mullen to become barriers of entries. And, you know, these top dogs will likely do that, right, to minimize the amount of competitors. And I'm thinking that that may happen, that Mullen may be bought out and we can potentially see our shares go by 3x to, to 6x, for example. Who knows, right? But that's the potential here. I'm thinking that a buyout can likely happen as well as replacement of the CEO. I mean, he's he's been in the game for quite some time now, although we don't know if that's going to happen as a fact. Uh, there's that possibility. Things can change very quickly. Now, let's dive deep in some articles I wanted to share with you. First off, let's look at the, the price here. This is a one year range. We know the 52 week range at one point was at $4 as you can see. Market cap is about a third of a billion right now. And in terms of just overall volume traded, volume average is around 200 million shares traded per day. And as you can see here, the, the support level is back to when it was like in the December timeframe of like the 18, 19, 20 cents. We uh, go to zero to date here. We see this downward slope here, right? Now, let's take a look further out here. Five year range, it did pretty well. Will we continue to see a bump up here now? I think that there's a possibility with any news such as a buyout, such as a replacement of the CEO, such as information about how there's no plans for a reverse split to meet the deadline in September. There's potential for the company to actually do well. Now, just looking at some some data here, as I as I touched on, 
you know, the the release of the financial data, the firm lost another 376 million in a single quarter. That that that's really big news here. And what does the company have to do? They have to just start gaining on on revenue. Uh, we don't see that to date yet, and that is why Mullen stock is just uh, dropping overall. People are beginning to question the CEO David, and the bright side is that. The CEO is able to get people from retail, right, like such as us, to, to invest. People from Stock Twits Reddit to, to see the 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 Mullen stock and to continue to buy in. One of the risks that I see is continual dilution. Will we see our investments actually decrease in value? Right, there is plans that where the current. Uh, outstanding shares is in the billions it's going to factor by 5x even more so what's going to happen dilution can happen and that's why you know it, it would help to see this company be bought out and i'm hopeful for that now i wanted to share with you mullen automotive announcing impressive solid state polymer battery test results just one of the bright side of this is that the data supports solid state polymer battery cell technology which when scaled to the vehicle pack level, it can deliver over 600 miles of range on a full charge for the Mullen 5 EV crossover. So there you have it. I, I just wanted to share that news with you. That's big if, if Mullen can potentially capitalize with, with their patented technology. So overall, there you have it. I, I wanted to share with you my perspective of Mullen with the news here and what can really drive the, the company's share price up. Are we going to see it go up or are we going to see it go down? I'd love to hear your comments and questions, but let's make some money on Mullen Automotive. Thanks for stopping by to watch another episode here at All I See Is W. And please make sure to hit the like and subscribe for more related content. Thank you.